um, I don't know. Since I didn't really do nothing today, I can't, there's not really much that I can really talk to you about. You know what I mean? So, um, I guess what I want to talk about is, um, relationships and love, love. Just basically what I've been through, you know, my takes on it, um, stuff like that. There's a lot of things. I mean, that's a huge topic that we could talk about, you know what I mean? Like, it's everybody's favorite topic. <laughs> I've experienced a lot of heartache in my life. Well, not in my whole life, but since I started dating. I've loved many men, but I don't know what it's like to actually be loved. I've had men tell me that they love me, but the way they treat me, it's not how you treat someone that you love. Like, there's women out there that are abused physically, emotionally, you know, all that stuff, and that's not love. And they say, oh, he loves me, he loves me. No. No, it's not. That's not love. Love isn't supposed to be like that. Love is supposed to be beautiful. And if you're hurting because of it, then that's not love. If you're sad, if you're not fully happy, then that's not love. Just saying. Out of every pain, out of every struggle you go through in life, you shouldn't regret it because that makes you stronger and that makes you wiser. You know, I've been through a lot. When it comes to relationships, and I'm stronger than ever now. I don't even, I don't even need a man in my life. There's people that, I know a lot of people that are like, oh man, oh, I need to find me a boyfriend, or I need to find me a girlfriend. Oh, crying, I'm so lonely, blah, 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 like, come on. Like, people like that just upset me, but I'm not that way. I'm happy with being single. I mean, I'm a big Christian. I believe in God. And I honestly believe that um, God has a plan for me. And I'm just leaving it in his hands. You know, all the things I've been through, you know, I feel like God let that happen. So, you know, later down the road, you know, I'll be able to find a good guy. And I'll be able to find, um, you know, figure out, okay, this is what I want and this is what I don't want. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, when I find that good man, I'm going to appreciate him a million times more than I would have in the beginning. You know what I mean? I would have, I'm going to appreciate everything, every little thing. And it's not all about money or anything like that, you know what I mean? I'm going to appreciate this. I appreciate the small things. And, and I'm not the big, I'm not big on like, oh, let's spend money and go on a cruise or something like that. No, like, I'm simple to please, like, let's go walk in a park, you know what I mean? Or, you know, something like that. Stay home and play a board game and watch a movie. Like, I'm simple as hell. I don't need... Or, like, you don't have to take me to a luxurious restaurant to make me happy. I'm, I'm fine with the little things, you know what I mean? But I do, I, money isn't everything, but I do want a man that has a good head on his shoulders, that knows where he's going in life, what he's doing, has a good job, a steady job, because, you know, just because you have a job, there's a, I've been with guys who have bounced around job from job. No! Uh, I, I don't like that. Like, you just need to have a steady job now. I am where I am now. You know what I mean? You already know from my past videos. But I'm working on myself. And I don't want someone that's going to be, you know, a low life. Who doesn't have a job. Who isn't motivated. Who's lazy. Who's not doing anything with their life. No. Because I'm going somewhere in my life. And you should be, too. You know what I mean? I want a future with somebody. You know, I want to be at a standstill for the rest of my life with somebody. Well, I've been to, there's another thing. I've been with men who've had children before. And most, 
well, not even most, all of them, have not had a job to support their children and haven't even been a father to their children. You know what I mean? When I'm with a guy that has children, I want to spend time, like, with them. You know what I mean? I was with this one guy, and I was like, well, why don't we go pick your um, daughter up and take her to the park? Oh no, I don't want to. I'm like, are you serious? You know, like, you you finally you have a woman who wants to spend time with you and your kids, or understands that you need time with your children, and you don't want that. You know what I mean? Some, I guess, some people are just not meant to be parents. You know what I mean? And the guys that I've been with just were not meant to be parents. Your kids should be. It should your kids should be cut. Co- be first. Kids should be first before anybody. You know what I mean? And if you're not putting your ch- children first, there's a problem. I don't even want to be first. If you have children, I don't. I don't even want to be first. Your children should come before me. That's how I see it. And if they don't, then there's a problem, dude. There is a problem. You know. But I just want to find a good man who has morals beliefs, who had a good childhood, you know, because I'm not trying to be, like, judgmental, but a lot of times, men, or not even men, just people in general that have have had bad childhood, I've learned, aren't so good when it comes to relationships or anything, really. And I'm not saying all that. Some people, you know, grow up to be the complete opposite of how their parents treated them or whatever like that. But, you know what I mean? Nine times out of ten, if someone was raised being close to their family and having morals and preferably in a Christian household for me, you know, then they're going to be like that. You know what I mean? And I just want someone who just, like I said, has a good head on their shoulders, who's caring, understanding, and who's going to love me for me. You know what I mean? Who's going to accept me regardless of how crazy and silly and odd I am, how big or skinny I am. Because, you know, right now I'm big. But I want someone that's going to accept me in any size I am. Who's going to accept me when I have no makeup on and I'm in my t-shirt and baggy pants I want that but um I just want to say before I end this that if you are being abused in a relationship if you're being called names if you're being put down if a guy is putting his hands on you even if it's once in a while even if it's once in a blue moon you know you need to get out of that relationship because that's not love. And you know if he he says he's sorry and he's going to change, or this no, it's never going to change. And I'm letting you know right now because I've been there. It's never going to change. It's always going to stay the same, and that's not love because you deserve better. You're a beautiful person, and you can do better than that. All right, I'm just saying, just saying. You know, like. If you're staying with someone that abuses you, that just means that you're feeling low about yourself. And you shouldn't feel that way. You need to get help. And that person that has you doesn't deserve you. Nope. And don't don't reward them by ha- letting them have you. You know what I mean? You're a good person. You know what I mean? You want someone that does, does deserve you. Because you're wonderful. And you're great, and you're beautiful. But I just, I like to help people. And I like to talk about things. Because I don't don't have nobody to talk.